Did you guys brainstorm any rule changes? So, uh, McLovin? Yeah, there's... Wait, I think for this game, we have to take off the fumble out of the end zone because nobody on earth likes that word. You know, there is one person on earth who likes that. Sims? Role. Yeah. He's done it on this show with yeah. you guys? Yes. Yeah. It's annoying. Okay, so, but mine is, there's a small penalty on a kickoff at a punter when the gunner runs out of bounds and it's a 15-yard penalty. That drives me insane. Do you guys know that rule where the guy, the guy who on the kickoff team runs out of bounds and he draws a flag... Uh, because they say if you run out of bounds, you'll get a full head of steam. It's totally nuts. So what? You you want to allow them to fully go as yeah. far out of bounds as they want and come back? Yeah, in. they can weave in and out of the coaching staff. I think that'd be awesome, first <laughs> of all. But second of all, I mean, it takes a long time to run out of bounds. It's not like you get this huge advantage. Anything to get less flags on punt plays, I will do anything for it. Because it's the worst. If you allow that, though, players who are on the sidelines... Yes. Have right? to be blocked. Percy? Just yeah. lay that guy out. Can hit. Are you okay with that? I'm totally like the old jet staff that yes. used to form a wall and trip <laughs> like three. Uh, yes, okay. I say make it all in play. Good rule. So I'm going to give that a good rule. You're approving that one. I'm approving that rule. Uh, so basically, everyone on all 53 on both sides are in play during the punt. Exactly. That's fantastic. <laughs> if you're going to go on the sidelines, you can do that. You're going to get hit. You're going to get assistant hit. coaches too. You may want to stick a foot out. Totally. Whatever. Yeah. The the guys in the big jacket too. You know those guys. Uh, I like it. Good rule. All right. Well, well done. Uh, Fritzy, you got uh, one? Yes. I can't stand the running, the guy trying to cross the pylon and get a, you know, and score. And then the penalty is the other team gets it at the 20 yard line that you're getting penalized. I, I, don't, I cannot stand. I think at the worst, you got to put the ball 10 yards away or 20 yards away. Is, you're, you're talking about the fumble out of the end zone. Touchback for the other team, yes, right? Well, I think, which I think is way too harsh a penalty. McLovin just said that. I just said that we shouldn't even discuss that. I thought one. you were talking more about the running out on the sidelines guy during a during a special teams play. He was. Well, I said he that. that I I thought that rule. He was <laughs> he a was, knows the time wasn't listening to the segment. He wasn't. Uh-uh. Although, I, if we are going to put that in, into play, I'm going to say no. You know what? Because we said that that's not allowed. Bad rule change. I don't even know what the rule change would be. But where but. would you where would you put the ball if you if you if you were you know, not to if you're gonna make it this such could a big be the penalty. whole this could be the whole show this could be the whole show. Uh, you know I've always thought with that rule if we are gonna do the fumble out of the end zone whatever da 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 da, da I think that you should get the ball back at like the the five yard line or something like that. Actually I don't I don't know I don't know that seems about reasonable. But you got to keep the ball. It seems uh, it seems very punitive to give the the ball to the other team, but. Uh, but uh, no, Fritzy, we're not even discussing that one. No good rule or bad rule. Seton, do you have one? Yeah, I would change the rule um, where on a punt or a kickoff, you can't run out of bounds and come back in. <laughs> I would do that. One. Sorry. Uh, no, I have a rule. What I would think you should be able to do is trade draft picks for information. Ooh. So, for example, right? Say you're the 49ers and you call up the Jets and you're like, hey, look, I'll give you a sixth rounder if you just tell me wh- who you're taking. <laughs> Who are you taking number two in the draft? And then I won't tell anybody, but if I give you this sixth round pick, you have to take the person you say, or I get my pick back. Okay, and then the Falcons at the four spot could call up the 49ers and say, we'll give you a sixth if you tell us so we could plan our strategy. And then they're going to be like, well, how about a fifth? Okay, cool. And then everyone knows. Yeah, did you just trade? You could trade draft picks for information if the other team is willing to do that. I wish it, the Bears could have done that a few years ago with the Niners and Trubisky. It'd have to be more than you just get your pick back, though, I think. It's like, you'd ha- I'll give you a fourth-round pick for this information. If you don't pick that guy, though, I get a third-rounder back. Okay. Yeah, that's even better. Look at McLovin? But why don't you just tell the team you're going to take a guy who you know will already be gone, so you're lying. You, take, you say, oh, we're going to take this guy who's going in the second round. So there's going to be so much gamesmanship. Yeah, okay. I want to see it play out. I want to see it play out. Good rule. Approved. Yes. Seating your rules in. Yes. Paulie? All right. I'm going to go quick, but I, I brought this up a long time ago, and Dan kind of liked it. Uh, a starting position player should have to handle all kicking on a football team. Ooh. You know, an offensive guard, a, a defensive back. I'm not an anti-kicker or punter. I love McAfee. I love Justin Tucker. But imagine if, like, um, Larry Fitzgerald had to handle the punting and place kicking for the Arizona Cardinals. So all current kickers and punters are out unless they can line up at receiver. Right. If Justin Tucker can can block a little bit, he stays in the league. How many plays does he need to play to qualify as a non-punter kicker? We're still workshopping it. But imagine the devaluing of the kicking game and more fourth and ones going for it if I you mean, had a guard kicking. That's how we all grew up. We all grew up with that, right? It was the offensive lineman. It was the punter. 
Approved. Approved. Nice. Good rule. That one's in. Uh, I got some baseball rules I want to throw by you, too, at some point. here. Uh, this is the Dan Patrick Show. You can contact us at DP, uh, DP at DanPatrick.com. We're live here on Peacock and Fox Sports Radio. I'm Ahmed Fareed. This is the Dan Patrick Show.